everyone. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our book club. I am Miss Maka. And I am Mr. Darrow. We have a bunch of great students in the audience today as well for our discussion, and I hope we can expand it like last time. Shegase Neptrum Tsignis Klubis, Kvela Sesiaze, Dagustrebian Mosavlebi, Romlebit Akti Urat Iknebian Discusie Pshichartuli. Today we are talking about uh, a legend from England, uh, mm -hmm. King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. The story is by Stephen Colborne. Well, uh, Ms. Maka, since we're talking about kings and a British king, are there any Georgian kings of uh, note that you can tell me about? Oh, of course, Mr. Daryl. We had many kings. They were great kings who did a lot of good things to our country. Like, for example, David the Builder, uh, Vachtan Gorgasali. So there are many of them. Great. In Canada, we only had prime ministers, so not the same oh. thing. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Uh, but later, I might tell you some stories about our kings. But for now, let's look at our agenda. The uh, first thing we're doing is uh, the vocabulary part, of course. Then we will tell you about the legend itself. After, we will tell you in short what is the story about. From there, we'll look at some of the characters of the uh, legend. There are famous characters. Uh, then we'll look at the setting, when it was, when it ha was set and where. Mm -hmm. And from there, we will look at the main themes. Uh, why certain things are important, what symbolism they have, and uh, from there? Traditionally, for our final stage, we have the conclusion part and the homework part. Yes, I'm looking forward to some of the answers to today's homework question. Okay, me too. Uh, but let's have a look at the vocabulary for today. We have eight words that we'd like you to focus on. Mm -hmm. And these are they. Our first, first word is difficult perhaps to pronounce for certain people, but it's just knight. Uh, knight. And it is a man in medieval times who served as a respected soldier in the king's army. Yes, Raindi. Uh, then we have wizard, a popular word these days. Uh, wizard. A uh, person who has magical powers. Jadokari. Then we have sword. Sword. <clears throat> a weapon you hold in your hand with a long metal blade used by knights. Yes, and our king Vahtan Gorgasali had a huge sword when, while he was fighting. And this is in Georgian, khmali. Excellent. Next we have chivalry. Chivalry, chivalry. Uh, the combination of qualities that the ideal knight would have, such as courage, honor, justice. Sagamiro Sakme, Raindoba. Very closely related to chivalry is honor. Honor. Uh, doing what is morally right. Mm -hmm. Then we have protection. Protection. Uh, the act of keeping others safe from mm -hmm. harm. That's what. And next we have worthy, uh, an adjective, worthy, worthy. Having the necessary characteristics to do something, uh, deserving, mm -hmm. being moral, being good. And our last word is uh, benevolent, benevolent, benevolent. Mm -hmm. uh, it means well-meaning, uh, warm-hearted, kind. Titsulovani, Now, let's have a question to our audience. So the first question is, what is similarity of pronunciation in these two words, knight and honor? We don't say the first letter. That's exactly what the answer is. Thank you very much. But what about the second question? Give us some words that rhyme uh, with night. Uh, words that rhyme with night are, for instance, uh, night, fight, right, sight. Yeah, it could be a nice rhyme. Thank you very much. Could be a nice poem. Yeah, mm -hmm. why not? 
So let's move on now to, normally we would talk about the author at this point, but since there is no real author, let's talk about the legend. So I thought I would like to talk about the author. Magram Amshem Trovashi, Vinaitan Historia, Dapuznebulia, Legenda, Chen Auxnit Raris, Legenda. So, what is a legend? So, a legend is a story about a particular uh, person that lies somewhere between myth and a historical fact. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start with looking at the original legends mm -hmm. of King Arthur. Now, originally, he was a legendary British leader who, according to the medieval histories, led the defense of Britain against invading tribes from Europe, uh, the Anglo-Saxons and so mm -hmm. on, uh, in the late 5th and 6th centuries. Uh, in the late 12th century, so about 600 years after, a lot, of more, a lot more details were added to Arthur's life. Uh, mm -hmm. Things like the Knights of the Round Table, our Round Table here, uh, like Lancelot, uh, their adventures, for example, the great quest for the Holy Grail. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Arthurian legend became like its own genre almost. It became a new genre by itself. People just wrote stories and added it to the, the entire legend. Yes, but although modern historians don't really agree and generally they agree that uh, Arthur never really existed, uh, it does not make the legend itself less interesting. Uh, Arthurian literature was uh, very popular during the Middle Ages, uh, and, but it, it found a new life um, during 19th century. But now, in the 21st century, the legend still uh, lives on, and uh, not only in the literature, but uh, also in adaptations, in movies, in the theater, uh, and other media. Like us, for example, today we are talking about Arthur, right? On TV. Uh, something you said I'd like to focus on for our audience. Mm -hmm. um, do you think that there's even a little bit of truth in every legend? There is some uh, truth in every legend, but people usually add the things to make it more impressive. Good answer. I think uh, just like, I guess, gossips in, um, uh, in our society, mm -hmm. you have a small thing that becomes bigger and bigger and bigger as more people talk about it. Yeah. Definitely. Good answer. So, what about the second question? Why do you think the legend of King Arthur is still popular? Because the main themes are connected to our modern lives. Being brave, good friends, patriotic, impress people. Definitely, I agree with you. Thank you very much. We would be very happy to see these kind of um, brave knights, right, Mr. Darrell? We would. Uh, of course. We would. That's the, the beauty of these legends. Uh, they inspire us. Let's move on to the summary of our story for today. Okay, well, the version of the legends of King Arthur that we will be discussing begins before he was even king. Uh, so he didn't even know he was king. We learn that his parents, who were king and queen before him, were killed. And a wizard named Merlin mm -hmm. sent Arthur away for his own protection. Arthur grew up like a normal boy, not even knowing that he was king. Yeah. And years later, when Arthur is a teenager, Merlin uh, places the sword in a stone, and he says that whoever is able to pull the uh, sword out will be the rightful king. Many strong men try, but none unworthy and are worthy of the sword. Uh, only Arthur uh, is able to take the sword out of the stone because he is an honorable man and uh, he is easily able to pull the sword out from the stone that makes him a new king. Mm -hmm. Now, once he is king, the kingdom prospers uh, under his chivalry and benevolence. The people are happy mm -hmm. under his protection. He falls in love and marries a woman named Guinevere, Guinevere, who becomes the queen. Yes, and what about Merlin's and Arthur's relationship? They were very closely related to each other uh, and uh, they also created a great kingdom. 
uh, Merlin also created a round table uh, where the knight sat around it and it was equal. So they all had equal rights and they were uh, good for the kingdom and for the country themselves, of course. Like our little round table yes. here. Uh, the rest of the book describes the adventures of King Arthur. There are many things. Uh, Merlin, the Knights of the Round Table, uh, the quest for the Holy Grail as well. There's a whole bunch of things. Supernatural as well, with the Lady of the Lake mm -hmm. and the magical sword uh, Excalibur, Excalibur, and uh, a few other things. Yes, but to find out more about the story, about the characters, definitely you have to read the book. Okay, I've got a question now, because we finished the summary part, uh, for our audience. Um, now, how would you describe a good king? A good king is a courageous person who lives with integrity and cares not only for himself, but for the whole country. That sounds like an honorable king, indeed. Yes, and according to your answer, Mr. Arthur was really an honorable king, right? Okay, what about the second question? Do you think Arthur would have been uh, as great without Merlin's, Merlin's assistance, Merlin's help? In my opinion, no, because there are some scenes in the book where King Arthur would not have survived without magic. Yes, I think we agree, right, Mr. Dowell? I definitely agree. Yes. I do agree. Okay, <clears throat> let's move on to characters of the book. Um, our book today, uh, but the legend. And of course, the first person we should talk about is King Arthur himself. Uh, King Arthur himself. He is the main character. He is the protagonist. He is the hero. He's a royal birth, but he doesn't know it. Mm -hmm. And he earns the title of king by proving himself worthy through good characteristics, strong, purity of heart, purity of character. Mm -hmm. He follows the knight's code of chivalry, uh, valuing courage, honor, protection, respect, benevolence. Mm -hmm. uh, he's the ideal king in many ways, uh, according to legend, who will one day come back when Britain is in trouble and needs someone uh, to help her. Arthur will come back from the dead, that's what they say, and he will uh, lead them to victory. Yes, our next character is Merlin. Uh, to be honest, my favorite character from this story. Wizards. So he's a wizard who knows um, everything about uh, Arthur's great destiny and he really wants to help him. So he's an advisor and a consultant for Arthur and he also is kind of a friend for him. Uh, he uses his magic uh, to to make good things, uh, to do good things for the kingdom and uh, for King Arthur. Hmm. Let's move on to Guinevere. Uh, her name is Guinevere, Arthur's wife. That makes her the queen, obviously. Our, uh, Merlin warns uh, Arthur that Guinevere will be his downfall. So she, she will bring him down somehow. But the thing is, it turns out it's not her fault. It's Arthur's fault for being jealous mm -hmm. of her. She doesn't do anything wrong. Uh, and Arthur's jealousy of her brings him down. So Merlin's right, but also wrong. Yes, but actually our next character, who is Lancelot, uh, he actually falls in love with uh, Guinevere, okay? And uh, though nothing ever happens, uh, it has some kind of negative effect on kingdom, on King Arthur himself. Um, generally, if we describe the, this knight, he is Arthur's most famous knight from the round table. He is the second uh, in command, and uh, many adventures involve him uh, in the story. Um, but this, ha this really happened to him that he f fell in love with Guinevere, but he never did anything harmful for the king and the kingdom. The dangers of a love triangle. Love yeah. Triangle. Okay, <clears throat> our last character is sometimes called Percival, sometimes called Galahad, depending on the legends. Some legends called him Percival, some legends called him Galahad. So the, he's known by both those names. He's Lancelot's son. He's Lancelot's son. And uh, he is extremely worthy, an extremely worthy knight. Um, mm -hmm. He's completely honorable. And in fact, he doesn't really die. He kind of ascends to heaven uh, when he completes a quest. So 
he, uh, he's kind of taken up to heaven right away. Mm. Okay. He's that honorable. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Daryl. And now uh, we talked about the wizard uh, Merlin. Let's ask our audience if they know. Uh, do you remember any other wizards from other stories? Yes, I do. For example, my favorite wizard is Harry Potter. Oh, <laughs> okay. So he's very famous. And uh, maybe he's more famous than Mr. Uh, Merlin? I think he has become more famous than uh, our character here. Uh, well, okay. <clears throat> let's, try to, let's try to fix that. Yes. Okay, we are going to move on to the settings now. Ahla visa obrevt mokmedebis adgilsa da droze, rodis mokta es historia. Hmm. So, uh, the specific um, history for this, that it happened in the 5th uh, to 6th uh, century. So, the historical basis for King Arthur has uh, long been debated by historians. So, when it happened, many historians argue about this. Some see Arthur as a genuine character, as a genuine historical figure, uh, a Romano-British leader who fought against the uh, invading Anglo-Saxons sometime in the late 5th to early 6th century. That's true. Others would argue that he was originally a fictional hero, so mm -hmm. not real, uh, and he was cr credited with real legends that happened to other people. So they would take all these legends, put it mm -hmm. together in this form, uh, in this figure of uh, King Arthur. Uh, but he does represent the start of a British identity, uh, solidifying their values, the British values of protection, courage, honor, benevolence. Mm -hmm. So where, where this happened? Camelot, um, Kingdom of Logris, that is a part of uh, England now. Uh, Camelot actually was not mentioned in early stories. It only appeared, it was created by the 12th century. And Camelot is Arthur's castle and uh, the capital of his kingdom. So it isn't a real place, mm -hmm. but it has become a powerful symbol of Arthur's ideas of chivalry. In fact, uh, there's a real life analogy. Um, back in the 1960s, the US president of the time, um, John F. Kennedy, uh, he represented a kind of renaissance of American culture. American culture had become important again, and he was the figurehead. They used Camelot to refer to his presidency, like the people around him and so on, and he was a kind of author for that Camelot. So uh, that's how symbolic this, uh, this has become. Mm -hmm. Now, as you mentioned, um, the king kingdom of Logris is fictional, but we can clearly see that it's supposed to be uh, England. Yes. So, now what about the question to the audience? Can you relate this period uh, to the same era of Georgia? In this time we had the king of Gorgasali and there is a famous legend about the foundation of Tbilisi. That's interesting. Now, <clears throat> let's move on to the next slide, which is main themes. The main themes of our story our legends modi chem khedat ra aris mtavari temebi chveni istoriis chveni legendis so the main themes uh, we have national hero that we combined with chivalry mm -hmm. yeah because they go hand in hand in this case um, arthur becomes a symbol of ideal manhood mm -hmm. in these tales though he ultimately failed um, through human weakness jealousy for his wife, um, and by that failure, the perfect kingdom on earth that they had been predicting does not come to pass. So, it shows the, uh, the weakness of humans, uh, and he's a symbol for that. Now, despite his, despite his best efforts, he, uh, he shows that we should keep trying. We have an ideal that we have in front of us, Arthur, Camelot, uh, the Knights of the Round Table, and this inspires us to try as well. Yes. And he actually gives us insight into English values. So he is an honorable man, uh, brave. So here you can see uh, courage, justice, uh, benevolence. And these qualities are timeless. They were uh, priceless and they, they were valued in those days. And they are valued now. Another modern day uh, analogy in the 1930s, 1930s, um, the, an organization of the, the Order of the Fellowship of the Knights of the Round Table 
was formed in Britain mm -hmm. to promote Arthurian ideals of chivalry amongst like ordinary British, British people. And they had this uh, motto, um, there can be no doubt of the extent to which uh, a legend born many years, centuries ago can still influence us in positive ways. Definitely. So, but Mr. Daryl, do you know we have a great poem, uh, the Christ Raosani? Now let's ask our audience a question. Does any character from the Christ Raosani share the same qualities uh, with King Arthur uh, or his knights? Uh, yes, they do. Uh, Tariel and Aftandili also fought for something that they loved and were ready to protect it to their dying days. Yes, they are. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, they are one of uh, the most important and interesting characters from our poem. I should read that. Definitely, of course. I think we should wrap it up now. Uh, let's yes. begin the wrapping up uh, procedure. So, first we talked about the legend uh, about King Arthur. Then we talked about the uh, summary. And just to recap really quickly, King Arthur together with Merlin constructs a round table where the best knights of the kingdom have adventures. Yes, some of the characters from this story, uh, we chose, of course, King Arthur, uh, the wizard Merlin, uh, King Arthur's love, Guinevere, and his uh, one of the most famous knights, uh, Lancelot. Mm -hmm. From there, we had a look at the setting. Mm -hmm. uh, remember, it's set in the late 5th and 6th century. It, we talked about Camelot, we talked about the kingdom of Logris, and so on. Mm -hmm. And the main themes, we had a national hero and chivalry. Very good, which we talked about together. Now, mm -hmm. okay, I think we should recap the words one last time. Mm -hmm. I will say them for pronunciation. And I will translate into Georgian. Very good. Uh, our first word was night, night. Rindi. Then we had wizard, wizard. Jadokari. Sword. Sword. Khmali. Chivalry. Chivalry. Sagmiro Sakme. Raindoba. Honor. Honor. Khirseba. Protection. Protection. Datswa. Worthy. Khirsi. Khirebuli. Khirseuli. And the last word, benevolent. Ditsulovani. Ketili. So we finished with both, like positive words, right? There's a lot of positive words. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Daryl, I think it is time for us to give uh, our homework. Yes, and uh, we've got an inter interesting question that I would love to see the answers to. Uh, and here is the question. If you found out one day it, that you were a king or a queen, how would you lead your country? And what would you want your kingdom to be like? And explain in your answer. Thank you, Mr. Daryl. Now I will say it in Georgian. Tsarmoidinet rom khart dedopali an mephe. Rogor martavdit tkvens kveqanas. Rogori ksurt igos igi. Mogviqevit rado. Type out your answers and send them in to us at the address you see on the screen. Velodebit tkvens davalebebs ekranze mititebul misamartze. Well, Ms. Maka, I think that's the end of it. Um, we had yeah. a good conversation and with yourself, with the audience, with hopefully the audience at home through the answers. Yes. So I think that's all for today. So see you next week. Have a great week. Bye. Bye.